before anybody that roots for the Yankees or anybody within the Yankees said, okay, let's make the big run for Manny Machado, you are going to bring in a guy that is going to play at his own pace. He's got phenomenal talent. And if they signed him, he'd put up great numbers. But do you want to enter that sort of a player into the ecosystem that you've developed on this team? Because one thing, you can say what you want about Stanton. You can say what you want about Judge. You can define their careers whichever way you want and the type of players they are. Every time they hit a ground ball, they run hard to first base. Every single time. Can't say that for Sanchez. Can't say that for every player on the team. But those two guys are the big stars, and they run hard to first base every time. So does Gardner. So does Hicks. You're going to bring in a guy when you have very, very young players that he can influence that's going to loaf it down to first base every now and then more frequent than every now and then. Do you want to expose Glaber Torres to that? Do you want to expose Ann Duhar to that? Just a thought, everybody. Not saying that if you sign him, it's the end of the world, but this is a guy in the last year of his deal can't find it within himself to run hard to first base every ground ball he hits. I know. It bothers me, too, unless we find out that he's got an injury and he doesn't want to hurt it by running out a ground ball he knows he's going to be out for. Cano did it. Yep. And they offered him a seven-year deal that he could have very easily taken. So if the fans don't like it, it doesn't necessarily mean that Brian Cashman won't. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, but it's an he's a singular talent. And if you don't have DD for half the year, Yankee fans, I would think if you put it to a vote, if you ran it up the poll, 80% would say, you know what, bring the guy in. It's I'll interesting, it. though, because if you get him and DD comes back, then you are essentially saying Miguel Andujar is not the third baseman well, anymore. Well, I'm not really sure they're that in love with him anyway. How could you not be in love with him as a well, hitter? Well, you though? can find someplace else to put him. Well, well, where? If you're going to put him at first, that eliminates Voight and Bird. Well, if he's that good of a hitter, which we agree he is, then maybe you can get something for him. I thought Joel had a good column. He's 26 years old. And if you're going to sign him, don't go into a 10-year deal because the bottom of the deal is going to be awful. Offer him a five-year deal at $40 million a year. Then he becomes a free agent again at 31. Would he take it? I don't mm. know. There's probably some team that'll give him a 10-year deal. Do the Yankees want to fly in that orbit where they also have Stanton for nine more years? And at some point, Judge is going to be a free agent. Well, maybe what you hope is is that Stanton can be dealt to the Dodgers if they lose Machado. Like, let's say this team falls short of the World Series again or loses in the World Series again, and if they're going to lose the talent that they traded for, would they then be aggressive and try to get Stanton? I, Can you make room that way? I don't way? know, because I, from what I'm hearing, the Dodgers will not re-sign him. All they've right. got Turner, they've got Seager. Seager's coming back. So yeah. maybe they, they say, yeah. okay, we'll take Stanton. It's possible. Now, would you rather have Stanton than Machado? Or would you rather... I think Machado's a better player than Stanton. But Stanton plays hard all the time. He does. Machado doesn't. I watched him a lot. His whole career with the the uh, the Orioles, and he had a guy who oh, was yeah. a stickler for that, and also the star on that team, or or the leader of that team, Adam Jones, ran hard to first base every time, and it's still you know sometimes yeah. Manny didn't, sometimes Matt. Oh, again, Manny is a singular talent. Sure is. They they don't come along very often.